Welcome to the Mint Report, a wrap-up of the day's business news. Here are the top stories. Kingfisher's woes continue. SR Energy misses targets. And markets fell in the face of rising oil prices. We start with the troubled airline's Kingfisher, whose woes seem never-ending. Promoter Vijay Malia, in an internal communication with his employees, blamed the media for worsening the airline's situation. Malia also said that the salary overdue is a personal sorrow and that he is working tirelessly to pay the employees their dues. Vijay Malia also hinted that two foreign airlines are ready to invest in his loss-making company as soon as a change in the laws allowed that. The new law is expected to allow overseas airlines to own up to 49% in an Indian carrier. Shares of Kingfisher Airlines ended in the red at 24 rupees. Moving on, RIL's European partner BP has for the first time raised concerns over the falling output from the KG D6 basin. The company plans to meet the government soon to submit an integrated development plan to rationalise investment and infrastructure. Natural gas production from the site had fallen below 35 million cubic metres per day due to water and sand ingress, raising concerns over the production capacity of the basin. And switching to earnings, India-focused refiner and power generator SR Energy posted its full-year earnings down by 10% for 2011. The company says weaker refining margins and depreciation of the rupee are key reasons for the lower numbers. The earnings posted this year stood at $624.8 million, as compared to $696.5 million in 2010. Shares of the company also reacted to the poor numbers, closing almost 8% lower at 61 rupees. And finally, Indian markets opened the week in the red as high global oil prices revived concerns about inflation in the country. The Sensex closed at 17,446, nearly 500 points lower, and the Nifty slid to 5,281, down by 148 points. Most stocks across sectors took a beating. Stocks of heavyweight reliance industries fell nearly 5% to 781 rupees. Banking stocks led by ICICI Bank and SBI fell on concerns over pricing pressures on RBI to ease the monetary policy. Stocks of ICICI Bank stood at 886, down by nearly 5%. SBI ended the day's trading at 2,125, down by nearly 4%. Auto stocks also ended in the red. The country's largest car maker, Maruti Suzuki, ended lower at 1,255, and Tata Motors closed at 260 rupees, down by 2%. And that's all we have for you. Thanks for watching.